Hi, I am Clean O'Connor and I am here in Cash and Carry Kitchens to share with you some delicious recipes. Great kitchen design is a key ingredient in all recipes and I am going to share with you a Thai beef salad today which is perfect for sharing with friends in this gorgeous kitchen. Today I am cooking in the Modica Forest Green Kitchen and as I share the recipe with you I'll show you some of the key features which make this kitchen perfect for entertaining. So this recipe is a favorite of mine and my husband's. Um, I discovered it when I lived in Thailand for a short while and um, we used to eat this Thai beef salad all the time. You can make it as spicy as you like. I'm using really hot chilies today, but you can use whatever chilies you prefer. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I am going to chop a couple of shallots. I'm using four because I am making enough for four because I'm gonna have some friends around to share it with. Now I am gonna just tidy up my counter. Um, what I love about this kitchen is the integrated bin system. So I can just sweep them in here, no mess, nice and easy. The way I see it is, it's kind of therapeutic anyway, just to stand still and chop for 10 minutes. And what I love about this kitchen, and it's really important to me, is that I love having the hob on the island because I feel that if you're having friends around and everyone's gathered around the island having a drink of coffee or a drink of wine or whatever you, you know you fancy um, you don't have your back turned to them like you're in the party even though you're cooking and I think that's hugely important for family life and for entertaining just being stuck in the middle of it and the next thing I'll do now is I'm going to take my tomatoes now I'm using large tomatoes but you can use cherry tomatoes if you want whatever you can get your hands on now, so I cut them in half, and then I'm just gonna slice these nice and thinly also. And then I'm gonna pop them on the plate with the shallots, and then I'll move on to the cucumber. So I've chopped my tomatoes, so I am gonna pop them up on top of my shallots, so it's so easy, and next the cucumber. Now, sometimes I peel the cucumber, and when I lived in Thailand, they'd always serve this recipe with the cucumber peeled. It's totally up to you. Sometimes I don't bother when I'm feeling lazy. Um, so today we are just going, oops, we are just going to chop the cucumber into little matchstick pieces. It's really easy. And then we're going to pop them up on top of our tomatoes and our shallots. And then we are going to add the cucumber slices or matchsticks up on top of our other veg and give them a little mix in a minute and then we will move on and we're going to cook our steak and we're going to make our salad dressing. Right, I am going to grab my steaks from the fridge. I'm using ribeye steaks today. Sometimes I use sirloin. It's total personal choice. Um, I love this fridge. I love the way that it's hidden. It's so sleek, it adds to the design of the kitchen. And um, I just think it's a really nice feature, especially the gold handles. Um, so we are going to fry up these steaks now. I have a pan I'm preheating, so it's gonna be a really warm pan. Um, the downdraft hob is what's making the noise. It's sucking the, the cooking fumes down so there won't be a smell all over the kitchen. Um, I think that's a really cool feature. So I have my steaks, <coughs> I'm gonna <coughs> season them a little bit some salt and some pepper. I have some oil in the pan already. So we're gonna, hopefully now this is nice and hot. So we're gonna pop them on, cook them on a high heat for about a minute each side and then I'll turn down the heat and leave them cook until they are ready. So I think this is really cool, watching all the, the steam disappear. And with the wine fridge there, like you can just get your friends to pour you a glass of wine and hand it to you over the counter. Now I'm gonna turn these down and I'm gonna leave them just for another minute. Right, so when these steaks are cooked, I'm gonna leave them sit for about seven or eight minutes um, so they get nice and tender. And then we're gonna slice them and we're gonna put them on top of our salad. But in the meantime, while that is happening, I'm gonna put some basil and some mint and I'm gonna make my salad dressing. So I just literally sprinkle some fresh basil, just rip them off. There's no, there's no method, it doesn't have to be 
any certain way, just pop them on top. Just a handful, probably, I don't know, 20 or 30 grams of basil. Um, so a big handful. And then I pop some mint leaves as well. And this is, the mint is essential because it makes it really, it's just all the, you know, the taste of Asia. Love it. So we pop that on. So a salad dressing has four ingredients. So it really is easy. So we have some saffron sugar. I have some fish sauce, which they call nam pla. It doesn't smell good but it tastes delicious, it's really salty. Um, I have a lime and I'm using one of these like really hot chilies. If you don't want it too hot, obviously use a milder chili. So first thing we're gonna do is we are gonna squeeze our, our lime. We're gonna juice it in on top of our tablespoon of saffron sugar. So it is easy. So we'll Pop that in there. Then let's get rid of these. We're going to add in our tablespoon of fish sauce and then our chili. Now, the one thing you have to be careful with is um, after you chop your chili, don't scratch your eyes. <laughs> now, you can add more as well. I'm just going to do one today. But you can do. So you pop that in there, then pop on the lid. You can do a little jam jar. I always do some sort of a jar for salad dressings. Give it a shake, and that's your salad dressing. It's so easy, there's no oil in it, it's super healthy. Now, our steaks, we have cooked them, and we've let them rest here for a couple of minutes. Now we're gonna slice them, and we're gonna pop them on top. So we just slice up the steak. And I like to lay that on top. Again, there's no um, there's no mad method to it. You just slice it nice and thinly. Pop this on top here. And then you add your salad dressing. Pour it over. And then I like to serve this with rice. Um, you can serve it with quinoa, rice, whatever. Bread and butter. <laughs> whatever you fancy. So that is my super easy Thai beef salad. 